Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Wolf for another episode of Final Fantasy X HD. In the last episode, we continued fighting the original creations with the Nestlug and the um, Duban. Today, oh boy, uh, today we are getting into even tougher territory with the Ultima Buster. The Ultima Buster is like... In spawn is this was this one we I don't even remember what they were all called. Um so the Ultima Buster has am I reading this right? Yep. Five million health with an overkill of nine 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 nine. It drops and this is very interesting. It's it's like 1.30 a.m. if you're wondering why I keep yawning. It drops three times AP, three times overdrive, and overdrive to AP. So like instant level grinding weapons. Also break MP limit armor. Uh, it also drops winning formulas or um, dark matter. And you can steal level three key spheres from it if you're having trouble with enemies in the Omega Ruins dropping them. Um, just like that original boss, Ah, gosh, I'm so sorry. Just like that original boss, um, he has head and arms. The head and arms each have 80,000 health. And uh, all block, all the arms block its main body. So you, you are going to want to get rid of them first. And by get rid of them first, I mean apparently not get rid of them at all. There we go. The overkill does not matter in the slightest. That isn't gonna hurt. Dang. <laughs> That's beautiful, actually. Um, that gives me overdrive, which is great. Uh, you are still on stoic, or oh no, you're in front. I wonder why his didn't fill up there. Oh well. Um, that makes my life a little easier, actually. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, so, Ultima Buster... If you want to get rid of the arms, one strategy is to just use Ultima um, to hit everything. Or if you are lucky, you will just kill them in one hit, which is what should have happened. You don't need to kill the head, and it looks like it counters with Ultima, but we should be able to just mix our troubles away then. Okay, Lunar Curtain and... Gambler Spirit. Hyper Mighty G. It's just, it's just gonna be your best friend. It's great. Uh, Titus, I don't think, can hit the head, so... Yeah, you just attack the body there. Can you... can you please stop targeting him? Okay, it's gonna counter with... Oh, it's not gonna counter it, but it is dead. It is dead, okay. I guess it just got a turn or something. But let's just start using quick hit on this guy. Uh, again, it has 5 million HP, so... Um, you're gonna be here for a while. You can just use slots a whole bunch of times. That is very valid. Wow. I didn't think I got that. Uh, another great idea is to summon the Maga Sisters, because since they have multiple characters doing multiple attacks, it's just, uh, gonna get rid of the arms uh, and everything else easier. We should survive this. Because we have shell on. And auto life. Wow, that killed all three of us. But it did put Riku's thing all the way up, so we can just immediately use the thing again. Uh, let's start off with a Stega, just to get ourselves back in working order here. Mm. Okay, that's not doing 
full now. No, not chug with feather. Uh, Ring of curtain. You just want to keep re casting Hyper Mighty G so that you get that auto life. Let's get your health back up so that slots would do the maximum amount of Ugh. I hate that your cure spells are impeded by shell also. That's just rude, you know? Beautiful. I might actually entrust my... Uh, Gauge over to Riku from Titus. Because I don't really care about him using it. I'm just gonna have Riku mix on her next turn. But what should I mix? Um. Yeah. No, maybe I'll make some Mega Potion. Uh, I mean, a, um... I mean, whatever it is. Mega Elixir. If he uses... If he uses, um... Ultima, she's gonna die here. We're all gonna die. She's gonna stay dead, but we will come back and she should have a full thing. Good. And the arms regenerated, so we're gonna have to start all over again. Uh, let's see, first things first. If I use Hastega, you will get a second turn, which is good. Uh, there is a skill called Quick Pockets that you can learn. Um, sure. There's a skill called Quick Pockets you can learn where you can use restorative items without it taking up a turn. Uh, that might be a worthwhile uh, goal. That's not going to get a return. We could possibly die here, actually. So I am actually going to get out the Mag Sisters. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so Quick Pockets lets you, lets you use items without it taking up a turn. And that's really good. And that's something new for the international slash HD version. Do as you will. Auto life. But yeah, look at that. Look at that HP. It's crazy. So. You should be able to just take an auto now. There we go. That was doing a lot of damage. Uh, when the arms are not destroyed, it treats it like he is has 255 defense and has the armored buff, which just means your attacks will not do anything to him, like it'll just be negligible. Bonk. Let's see how much this does. Basado is very overpowered. Yeah, that's- whoa! <laughs> 61,000, that's- that's something. That's really something. I'm slightly scared. That barely did anything. You gonna go for the head or for the body? Go, body. go, go! Why would you use Osmos? 
Okay. Uh, oh, we can combine powers, sure. Uh, Pisado is actually stronger than their uh, Delta attack. That's sad. Oh, and we got it. Sweet. <laughs> that was... These fights are going a lot better. I guess it's because when I... In the past, I think I just didn't fight them when I was a young boy. No, 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 Dovey, that's a song. Uh, I didn't fight them when I was at the end of the Sphere Grid, I guess. Yeah, as you notice, we haven't been using Orin, because he's kind of slow. <laughs> but anyway, the next fight here, we actually have to use this party, because we're fighting Shinryu, which is an underwater boss. Oh, something I didn't mention, like, at all. Um, Nestlug, which hopefully I made a notation in that video, uh, you can get Nestlug by capturing one of every fiend in the game. Ultima Buster from the last episode, from... No, this episode. Uh, is from catching five... Yeah, we were just fighting Adobe. Catching five of every fiend in the game. Excuse me. Uh, Shinryu here is really weird. Um, it's from catching at least two of every underwater fiend in Mount Gagazette. Like, the th three or four of them. It's very strange, but anyway. Shinryu has 2 million health, uh, overkill of 99,999. It drops two, AP, uh, 2 times AP, double AP, or auto med weapons and armor. It also drops wings to discovery and or, or dark matter. Uh, it has... It has some really nasty stuff, honestly. Um, it has a move that will instantly shatter, uh, uh, not shatter, it instantly... My brain isn't working. Petrify, thank you, and shatter a party member. Uh, removing them from battle, it will go through every single, um... Is that a counter? Come on. It will go through any proof, like stone proof armor type things that you have. So, uh, yeah. But he only has 2 million health, which means you should be able to do a decent amount of damage to him before he is able to, uh, to get to that. But it's. Uh, he will also not use it if you only have. This might kill him. He will not use it if you only have one character left in your party, so that's good. No, that didn't kill him. He can't be far off. Sad. I forgot she had auto phoenix. Up. Oh. I forgot it had that. Okie dokie. Uh, right, we can't switch. Can you kill him, please? No? Here, use Blitz Ace underwater. I've never shown this before. It's the changes ever so slightly. No one throws in the ball, just kind of goes. <laughs> did I? I did write his HP down, right? It is two, it's not seven. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. I have been wrong in the past. Once. Now. 
Hmm. Very strange. Well, let's... Let's get mix up just in case, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even give a, uh, there it is. Eraser. And you're gone. Isn't that horrifying? That's horrifying. There we go. Really, of course. Of course it just needed one more hit. But there's our wings to discovering top shape. And for killing every creation. No? What did we miss? He ain't ready yet? Oh, I think I have to leave. Everything. Didn't I? I'm not going crazy. Did I kill all of them? Give me a second. Are you kidding me? Are you actually are you actually kidding me? Okay, in order to unlock the last thing. You need to catch... You need to kill every... Every one of the, uh... The, the things, which we did. And also have ten of every monster. And I missed a... Bandersnatch?! Out of all the stupid enemies in the game... I missed a... Bandersnatch?! Well... We're going to catch a Bandersnatch, I guess. You know, something interesting to note, um, if you customize your catching equipment with Stone Strike or Stone Touch, it will count and it will be an instant death for the enemy. So, fun fact, the Bandersnatch. I can't believe it. I I actually can't believe it. It's like a basic enemy in the first area. How did I mismark that? There, game. Are you happy? Jeez. That's so ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just gonna put on... Where is it? Did I sell? Oh, no, it was a... <laughs> it's like, oh my god, did I sell my Nolan Candor? Oh, right, it's a weapon, not an armor. Man. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> That's really stupid. Uh, but it'll give us time to talk. So, yeah, you have to kill every single uh, one of the creations in all three areas. And you have to catch ten of every monster in the game. Luckily, it has a list for you to remind you how much of each you have. So that's very nice of them. Yeet. And, uh... Yeah, it leads you. I'm just going to put my stuff here back on. Get out of Chocobo so we can just run this way. And go. Do, 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 do. Twenty minutes on the video. It's actually still pretty recent video-wise. Yeah, 
I've done it. I've created a monster. It is a fabulous day. Come on, kiddo. Help me celebrate. You get 10 Master Spheres. Master Spheres will unlock any node on the grid. I mean, not keys, but it'll unlock anything. Let's take a swing at it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Omega, doesn't it? This is Nemesis, the game's original super boss, like super, super final boss. Um, in the PlayStation 2 version of the American release, this was the strongest final boss in the game. There were no Dark Aeons, there was no thing after the Dark Aeons, this was it. This was the be all and end all. Nemesis has 10 million HP, an overkill of 99,000. 999 uh, it drops break damage limit weapons break HP limit armor uh, drops warp spheres or dark matter and the most important thing and the reason why I was playing through these guys before finishing my sphere grid is that you can actually steal level 4 key spheres from him so yeah uh, you can also steal them, and um, uh, we're dead. We're very dead. And then run away, and it still counts. That's rude. Uh, can I... I'm just gonna run. I know that's the coward's way out, but I want to keep the, the, the key spheres. You lost, I guess you're not. You shut up. Um, but yeah, this that's that's the the final boss there. We are not going to be fighting him just yet because I want to finish up my sphere grid. I think we actually could take him down if we wanted to. Um, when I was using Mug there, for some reason it's really weird. He counters most of the stuff that you do with Ultima, which, as we've seen from the Ultima Buster, um, can just murder you. But, he doesn't counter Mug with Ultima for some reason, but he counters Steel. I don't get it. Um, let's see. So, Quick Hit is like the way to go with him. I don't think he counters that, I don't know. Um, every time he's about to get a turn, you just want to take a summon out to die for you <laughs> and have Hyper Mighty G going. So, I'm gonna... Give it another shot and we'll see what happens, but yeah. I should have... Um, okay, if I use Hastega, you will get a turn, okay. Waka, you are going to entrust. I'm actually going to switch you with Uni, so that we can summon Meta. Um, yeah, ten. I, I don't have any illusions that I'm going to uh, beat him now. This is really a boss that you should come back with once you have finished your Sphere Grid, possibly even once you've maximized it. Um, oh, I should try. Hey, I need to try stealing from him. Anyway, that's gonna kill me. But uh, the next video is going to be just a, a wrap-up of how to, uh, like, what to fight and what to look for in sphere maximizing, sphere grid maximizing. Um, but I'm not going to be talking about, like, the, the super optimization. Because that's just ridiculous. Okay, now I'm kind of upset that Yuna is not getting a turn here, so we're going to be very sad. This might hurt all of us. Looks like it. Um. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Now, something to keep in mind. Um, 
If you didn't get Nova off of Omega, then you can get it now. <laughs> Let me just see how many... Nine. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, we need. We're gonna need a whole load of these. I'm gonna have to count that off screen. But um, I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna save the Nemesis fight for another day. Uh, but yeah, next time on Final Fantasy 10 HD, we're just gonna go over uh, the basics of filling your sphere grid as opposed to just reaching the the ends of it you know sphere grinding and um yeah then we'll start taking on the super bosses i don't know if i'm going to do nemesis first or we're going to actually move on to the dark aeons now that most of them we can kill pretty easily <laughs> uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody bye bye